Okay. Well, thank you, everyone. We're about one minute past, so we'll go ahead and get started. I know um, it's uh, the start of a at least a, a long weekend here in the States. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining. This is our um, September Lunch and Learn. I'm actually super excited because the topic for today is very relevant for me. <laughs> uh, uh, personal branding and marketing is something that I'm, I'm definitely interested in. So uh, we're joined by Mark Payne, the co-founder and CEO of Equity. Tech and I, I did I pronounce that Ecutech? I pronounced yes, that correctly, right? That, that's right. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. So, so Mark is um, he's been in uh, uh, his experience lasts over twenty years of recruitment and talent management um, uh, across uh, across the globe, Europe, uh, the U.S., Latin America, uh, and Africa within the technology sector. Uh, Mark That's has right. developed and implemented uh, talent attraction, sourcing, and workforce strategies with leading tech companies around the globe. Um, so uh, today, um, Mark is going to share with us um, a lot of topics around um, uh, personal branding and marketing, uh, the new personal digital branding world, uh, the why and what of personal branding strategies, uh, goals and target audiences, and my favorite, just how to get started today. So I'm really excited to introduce Mark Payne. Mark, take it away. Hello, everyone, and greetings from the UK. Uh, thank you to the uh, UCICS for uh, inviting me on and, and to be your guest today. Um, I appreciate that. And um, yeah, super excited to, to talk to you about personal branding. Uh, very, very topical. Um, so yeah, let's, let's jump straight into it. So um, just gonna talk about the, the, the new to start with. You know, there's, um, there's a, lot of, uh, a lot of change going on, a lot of disruption. Um, you know, we're in, uh, which many of you may know, the, the fourth industrial revolution, the digital era. Um, everything is is really going digital uh including uh, including you and you know that's uh, a bit scary sometimes when when you think about it but um it, it's it, it's great to embrace it and then to um to really figure out where where you fit in in the, in this uh, big digital universe um so the the branding side as well you know branding see has been around for a long long time um you're, you're all familiar with some of your your favorite brands um uh, i'm sure um you know uh, brands like uh, nike and coca-cola um uh, are, are are brands that that when you think about them you know they they they, they give you a feeling um uh, and and the same with you know there's a lot of um similarities and parallels to personal branding uh, as there is in in corporate branding uh, quite quite a lot um so uh and, and thinking about your yourself as a brand as well is is it's kind of a bit strange at first but once you get into it you'll have a lot of fun doing it uh, I, I assure you um and you know but personal branding is it, it's a mix really it's it's you it's your personality it's who you are and how you're then projected uh into this new digital world uh, and and across all these multiple um, you know online channels and social social media channels um, right and and it's really really important uh, to make a good first impression you know you've all you've all um, you've all had that interview and you want to make that that great impression it's the same thing uh, on a personal branding level you know the the first impressions that how how other people see you. Um, you know, will can determine on on whether you're selected by a potential employer, um, you know, or whether you're uh, may, or whether maybe you uh, gain a customer uh, and 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 so forth. So um, so yeah, first impressions uh, on the uh, on the the personal branding side and the digital you uh, really 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 important. And we're going to come on to to that as we go through. So the, the, the why, um, which we touched on, so um, personal branding is really how you're going to present yourself in this digital world. Uh, and, you know, people are going to make decisions on 
whether they want to buy from you, whether they want to uh, engage in uh, a discussion with you, whether they want to uh, work with you, whether they want to hire you, all from your personal branding. So, you know, that's how, how important it, it, it really is. Um, and you, you also want to, to, to think about your, you know, your brand and, and, and who you are, what, 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 what you are uh, uh, on, on both um, in, in this virtual world um, and then how you can humanize yourself as well. Um, and that, that's also quite, quite, quite important. Um, and you, you know, you, you want to be able to promote yourself across all of these channels um, or, or selected channels, in fact. Um, so, you know, we'll come on to this as well, because uh, you, you need to think about what, what social media channels are actually important to you. Um, what social media channels uh, your audience are on that you're you're wanting to attract or you're wanting to engage with? Um, so 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 those those two points are very very important. Um, and yeah, that 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 that's really uh, just just a brief summary of of, of the why. Um, we'll move on to what is personal branding, and I've just put here. A few, you know, a few few examples. Uh, the, these are actually LinkedIn profile examples. So, looking at the top left image, you'll see uh, Lisa, uh, Lisa Fair. Um, so she's got a good profile um, image of herself. Uh, good, good header in the background, and also uh, a headline. And what's good about this is that. It, it all connects up. So immediately, you know, you, you're going to have an impression of Lisa, what she does, um, who she is, what industry she works in. So again, this this this, this is this is really um, your first impression point, um, and you can see. <coughs> Excuse me. You you can see you know um, if you if you take a look on on a platform like LinkedIn, you'll see such a different variety of of, of profiles, um, and some you know good, uh, very good, and some and some bad. But there's, there's you know even if you have a LinkedIn profile today, there'll there'll be some some areas you can improve it. Um, the the bottom if we just look at the bottom left hand picture. Um, uh, Dipti. Now, her her profile is good. She's got a good um, um, headline that jumps out out at you there that she's looking for a job in a specific area. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, just grab some water. Um, and she also has quite a good quite a good picture, um, but she doesn't have a, a you know a, a, a header. Or a hero banner on on a LinkedIn um, profile. There you can see it's just got the standard image at the back. Um, so she could definitely improve her her profile by um, let's say add, adding a, a, a background uh, header and and possibly making her image uh, her photo a bit a bit a bit closer. You can see she's kind of um, kind of a bit further back from from the lens on that particular photograph. Um, so there, there's always you know there's always a room for improving your, your your LinkedIn profile. So moving on to uh, what what more about what is a personal brand. <laughs> it's um your your professional um profile mixed with with your personality. And um your personal brand should really um you know project who you are and tell a bit about your story, um, your life experiences, your skills, your talents, what, what you have to offer, what, what you want to be known for. Um, and I'd say also three, three, three key elements to, to keep in mind as well is authenticity, transparency and honesty <coughs> when, when creating your, your, um, your personal brand. Um, 
and it's you know it's it's what you want it to be as well so there's not you know there's not a, a um necessarily a right or wrong way to to do things because because it depends on the message and who you are and what you want to say to people uh, and to the audience you're you're trying to to connect with um but it's a you know bear in mind it's a it's a you know it's a busy um a busy world out there in the virtual world and you want to you want to be able to uh, stand out you want to be be heard you want to be noticed so the way you're going to achieve that is by having a good personal brand the one thing that everybody has of course is that you're all unique so you've all got a unique story and um as far as your <coughs> Excuse me. Um, your creativity um, side as well goes, and uh, I believe everybody has has creativity within them, um, uh, uh, and that's you know that that's um, for obviously relevant in in everybody has a personal style, um, be it your hairstyle, be it uh, your clothes, but you know projecting that into a virtual profile um, takes a bit of thought. As to how you want to be seen and how you want uh, people to, to 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 look at you and what you want to be to be known known for, um, and I've just just added as well one thing to to also you know once you do get going with with your personal brand, it's always good to to revisit it and uh, you know reinvent yourself. Um, I I kind of do it a, around every six months. You know some people may do it every three months. Um, whatever works for you, but you know it's good to kind of update uh, update yourself um, from from time to time uh, with your personal brand. So, <coughs> what what do you want to achieve, and and who's your target audience? So this is where you've really got to think about, yeah, you know, what what you are going to set out to do with your personal brand and and the channels that you're 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 going to be um using um you know do uh, do you want to attract um uh, potential employers are you know are you um are you looking for a job you know that on on linkedin that's a, that's obviously a a platform where there's a lot of recruiters and talent acquisition professionals um that that use it so it's a great place to to, to get a new job um but but also other other platforms as well like like twitter or or facebook you can build 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 networks and build build communities uh, join groups excuse me um so so really think about uh, what you're really what you want to achieve from your personal brand um you know once 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 you've created it and uh, and then just as importantly is your target audience what you know what audience are you trying to engage with who are you trying to attract um are, are you trying to sell your products or services to to specific um customers in a specific industry or market sector um or, or it could be ge geographical uh, as well uh, are there certain you know um customer personas you want to to engage with um or or brands so think about your 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 target audience and also with your target audience think about where they are most active as well so some uh you know for for example some customers may, may that that you want to engage with or groups they may be more active in the twitter world or on the on the linkedin world so so you know figure out where where your audience is um and a few yeah just a few strategies to help you create your personal brand <coughs> and excuse me what what you actually want to be known for um and the 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 digital channels which i mentioned um you know there's there's that there's a, a lot to choose from you have the, the the big big channels um such as uh, linkedin um uh facebook twitter but there you know there are many other 
channels out there and Instagrams, uh, Pinterest, and even TikTok. Um, so think think about the uh, the, the digital channels uh, and where you, where you want to be, um, and 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 also think about it in a way that it's your you know whatever channels you're on. It, this is your this is your digital self. This is your digital resume. You know, customers um, or potential employers. You know, it, it, it is quite common for um, for for people to be uh, screened uh, digitally um, um, more so now. Um, so so it's important that that your your digital profile and your personal branding really represents yourself in the in the best way. Um, and and also just to to give yourself visibility i mean that that's also a very key thing about the the, the digital channels um uh, and your personal branding in that if if you're not if you're not doing much then you're not going to be visible no matter you know what uh, how good you are at whatever particular field you're in um, so, you know, creating that visibility for yourself across these channels gets you noticed, gets engagement and also will build, you know, will build, uh, ultimately build more credibility as well um, over time. So, um, so just move it, move, moving on. Um, here we're going to, to just talk about creating your personal brand across a couple of these platforms. Uh, one being LinkedIn and one being Twitter. So, <coughs> excuse me. So LinkedIn, um, LinkedIn sort of one of my first per personal uh, favorites, um, uh, a platform I've been using since the early days of 2004 and have uh, have built up a, a base of, a, of over 20,000 um, followers. But that That's, you know, that's taken some time uh, around 15 15 years of, of being on the platform um, but you can build up uh, you know your users the more active you are um, uh, but also interestingly worth, worth remembering Link, linkedin puts a, a cap of um, 30,000 um, um, connections um, once, once you do start growing growing out your your, your, your connection base um, so to start with you want to you really want to, to to have a good link you know a good profile picture as we saw earlier in in the examples you know a a um a clear image um you know not not ideally not a not a blurred photo i'd recommend color over black and white but um you know it's whatever your preference is but the main thing is that the the, the image is is clear and crisp i would say um uh, and then to you know to have a good uh, header um, or you know hero banner um, accompanying your your photo that that connects with whatever message you're trying to you know um, provide in regards to what you do, what your skills are, what your industry is, um, and we'll come on to some places you can find some 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 good photos as well. Um, it, you know, you, you can also take your own your own your own picture as well if you want to do that. Um, the headline as well on on your LinkedIn profile is 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 very key. You know, I I know from my my time uh, working within the uh, talent and recruitment industry and with lots of lots of recruiters and talent people over the years that that when they're you know when they're looking for uh, to hire people. Um, and they're looking at profiles on LinkedIn, they'll often maybe spend, you know, maybe 15 seconds looking at a particular profile. And if, you know, if that profile jumps out at them, then that's a diff that can be the difference between being contacted for maybe your, your dream job and, and not being contacted. So, you know, that, that, that's kind of how important your, your, your LinkedIn profile is if you want to get noticed or, you've met, you know, you maybe you want to get hired um and your, your your summary as well you know write 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 a good concise summary um tell your story or highlight your skills um remember also keywords are important as well so you want to make sure you've got keywords in your profile 
Um, so again, you know, internal talent teams or or recruiters, if they're they're looking for particular uh, skills, they're they're going to be searching under under keywords. So if you've got the key keywords for your particular specialty, um, then you're going to be found. Um, Finally, uh, you know, you, you can also um, customize your, your LinkedIn URL, which is kind of a nice, neat thing to do if, if you want to. Um, so you can add to your name, maybe your, your specialty, or you can add a technology or, or, or a, an industry. Um, so something, something um, I'd, I'd recommend doing. Um, Twitter is, is um, very different. Um, the tw Twitter has also been been uh, gaining a lot of popularity, particularly in the I'd say in the engineering, techie, software development community, um, becoming very popular. Also, uh, also becoming popular with recruiters and talent teams for for recruiting on. Um, it's it's quite different in in the way that you set your profile up. Um, so you can use a similar picture. Um, you you can also use um, a similar background if you want, or you can have completely, obviously completely different, um, depending on how you want to protect yourself. But have some sort of consistency, I would say, across across your channels. Um, otherwise, it might be a little bit confusing as to who you are and what you stand for and what what, what your values are and, and what your specialties are. Um, you can also on 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 uh, Twitter, you can add your a link to link your LinkedIn page or or your personal website if you have one, uh, or your company, you know, your company website. So that's something you can do as well. the the other The other big difference with Twitter is really the the bio part. So you you know you can only um, you can only use 160 characters. So much you've got to cram much more in uh, compared to LinkedIn. Um, so you need to summarize yourself in a nice, um, you know, uh, headline grabbing uh, sentence or, or two sentences. Um, you can you can also, you know, use use hashtags for for some of the some of the, the words you may use as well. Um, but you've got to yeah, describe yourself in a in a real, uh, you know, headline grabbing way. Um, and there, you know, there there are many other sites as well. We've just really touched on here LinkedIn and Twitter, um, you know, GitHub, which is uh, the uh, a popular of the uh, software and development, and uh, Instagram, uh, Me Medium being the the probably the number one sort of blogging platform today, um, Facebook, Tumblr. So a lot, <laughs> a lot of choice and a lot uh, a lot to, uh, to to choose from, which is great. And finally here, this, you know, this is just to, 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 if you do want to really start posting consistently across any of your, um, your social media channels, then you're gonna need to, to, to have a, some sort of content tracker. Obviously you can do, just do this in any diary or you can create your own. This is just an example of, uh, of kind of sort of a spreadsheet um, content tracker that you can put together. Um, there are also platforms, uh, some of them um, are free, some of them you pay for, that, that can also help you do this um, if, you, if you do really start to get into um, consistent weekly uh, posts across your, across your social media channels. And finally, just going to leave you with um, some, some links here, and obviously uh, we'll, we'll happy to share this. Um, um, pre presentation with with anybody that like like a copy. Um, so there's some links here to uh, some content planning platforms. Um, there's also some links here below for for in images and videos. So Pixabay is is one of one of the sites I've used uh, a number of times that you can access all of their free stock images to help uh, create your um, your your um, social media um, personal brand. And Canva is a great free site as well, it does have a paid version, but you can, um, yeah, you, could, you can also find a lot of, lot of great templates on Canva, as well as other, other, other graphics. 
and medium is uh yeah you know if you're into blogging then medium is is, is the platform to, to 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 be on so so that's uh yeah that's it hope um hope i've given you all a, a lot to think about and um you know wish you all um you know all the best in in creating the new you and uh getting out there into the virtual world uh, and one thing I'd say, just have 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 a lot of fun with it as well, because once you once you start to to, to create your 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 personal um, um, self on on these platforms, uh, there's a lot of fun you can have along along the way. And try things out as well. You know, some some things will work, some things won't. But just try them, try 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 them out. Okay, Great. so Th that's it. Th Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. And and so um, hopefully uh, you're you're able to stick around a bit for uh, for Q and A. And yeah, yeah. Okay, great, sure. great. So I think what we'll do is um um we've got about thirty eight folks. So I think a pretty um, manageable group of folks here. So I would say that if you have any questions, one you can always um you know uh, put your question in the chat. Um, Mark, you, you know, you could take a look at, uh, at the chat just to see if there are any questions. I think I'd be, you know, I think we're all fine here with, yeah. with op if you want to open up your, um, open up your audio just to kind of ask, ask a question, I'd say feel free to do so. So, um, uh, mm -hmm. looks like, looks like we already have a couple, a uh, couple questions there. Uh, Mark, if you want to go ahead and just start, start digging yeah. in there. Um, okay. So. As a small okay. business, how often should you should you be engaging on social media to increase your chances of being seen by connections and potential business? Um, yeah, excellent question. So, it it really um, uh, it really that there isn't really a, a a set amount, but I would say um, you'd you'd want to be um, posting doing one post a day um across your chosen platform um so you know whatever whatever platform that is um you know one post a day uh, because what 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 you find is that your audience they 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 become you know um connected to that consistency of seeing your post and then the engagement builds and grows from there Right. Yeah. So, Mark, I actually have one question that I, I kind of one thing that for me, I um, I sort of not really struggle, but want to sort of understand how how I might want to rationalize, let's say, a personal brand, right? Like Jamar Garcia versus, you know, so I'm a small business owner and I've got like my company brand, right? Like my company name. So, yeah, like how should I rationalize sort of, a, you know, personal brand versus sort of a corporate brand, even though I'm like a small business owner? um so so do, do you mean so, sorry do you, do you mean so do like you, let's say do i let's say if i set up uh like you know i have a let's say a linkedin page for my business but yeah. i also have a personal linkedin account should i be focusing more on posting as let's say the business as sort of like a this is the business talking yeah <laughs> or, or this is this is me jamar garcia the yeah. human talking like how like what's a good okay. way to rationalize that yeah uh, yeah so you so so if you well if you have a linkedin company page for your business and then you've got your own personal page on on linkedin um obviously the two are two are connected and and you want to keep that connection uh, and make that connection visible um a company page you know you're only going to get uh, engagement from your company page by the number of followers you have right so mm -hmm. and that takes time as well so that but that's something again you you can consistently do so if you if you have a bigger following on your personal linkedin page in order to um you know invite and attract more followers for your company page you know you can do consistent um post on your personal personal linkedin page because you're going to reach a bigger audience and then and then you can put in a, a link to your company page that could then drive some traffic to your company page and hopefully people people to follow your company page that, that makes sense because at least my experience um 
using LinkedIn, I, you know, I've, I've used LinkedIn as, you know, like just a connections sort of thing. And just, you know, again, early on, I, don't, I have nowhere near the 20,000 you have, but so that's very impressive. But it's interesting because getting into sort of the sharing aspect, I found that I interestingly have more of a audience or more of a network on LinkedIn just by nature of making connections throughout just sort of my career. So I can kind of see where that makes sense, right? Just to share maybe as myself, and then you almost get pull through, right? People will, if I share as myself, people are going to look at my profile and say, oh, where does he work? Oh, and then like, oh, check out sort of like, you know, his business page. So that makes sense um, yeah. as opposed to just kind of posting as the business. And then if I have no followers, no, no one's yeah. going to see anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, so uh, I'd like to add a thought. Um, the, the relationship between you and the company depends on your position in the company. If you are hmm. a founder or a top level executive, there's somewhat of an equivalency. But if you're one of uh, 25,000 employees at Google, there's not, right? Hmm. So, so when you're, you're a founder of a startup, um, you want to promote both. But um, if you're you're just a corporate employee, and I shouldn't say just, that, that's, that's a, a ne negative. But, but if you're just one of 25,000 employees at Google, you may want to work more on, on developing your personal brand to help with career advancement. That's, that's a good point. And I wonder too, is, is there sort of a conversation around like the voice you should use, let's say as a, as a let's say, I guess it's sort of, maybe not so obvious, but at least it seems natural that if you're posting as you, right, you would use basically, you know, you'd speak as I, my experience, so on and so forth. If you're posting on behalf of, let's say your business, and let's say you are a small business and you are like, let's say a founder, is it valuable to kind of speak with a personal voice, even in a business account or... It, it yeah, I mean, it depends on what type of business you, you, you have, but I, I would say, um, you know, be authentic, uh, be genuine, that that's going to get you the engagement when, um, yeah, when you try to, to, to maybe come across, uh, if you come across maybe a bit too robotic, say, um, you know, pe people buy into authentic authenticity, people, mm -hmm. people, you know, um, whatever social media channel you're on, um, uh, that, 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 um, you know, applies to all of them. So all, authenticity is, is really key and just, just, you know, coming across genuine, um, um, and yeah, having your own, your own style, the way you, you know, just be yourself, I guess yeah. is really what I'd say. Um, and, and yeah, now that is a really interesting point as well, Jeff, Jeff made that, that, um, uh, with if you're working for yeah a, a a big corporate company a fortune 500 company um you are you you are um you are branded under their 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 company and um but interestingly there's been a real shift where businesses now recognize the importance of of personal branding so they they actually encourage their employees to develop a personal brand as opposed to try and control their branding, which which they did in the past, um, because they they know that the, if if you've got employees that, that have big followings and and they obviously work for the say Google, um, that following uh, is a bigger audience to Google. Not not that Google need a bigger audience, but <laughs> um, but you know you know what I mean. Um, mm -hmm. So 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 that that's that's yeah that that's great to to actually see that that bigger companies are now embracing it because there have been in the past you know there were some uh, you know there were some court cases with uh, when employees left linkedin and the companies uh, companies tried to say that their linkedin connections were the own you know were were owned by the company um so there were there were a number of these sort of disputes both in the us and and here in the uk um and, 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 you know, and that, that, that's really quite, quite um, <laughs> an interesting part to look at it because, you, you know, you can have a big following on whatever channel and you're working for a company, but that's, say, that, that's your following, that's your personal mm -hmm. brand. And, and so, 
you know, companies, companies now are not so uh, as aggressive as they were uh, and seem to be, seem, seem to encourage it more. In fact, some of the more progressive companies are now doing new seeds to their employees so their employees have good material to repost mm. to their followers. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're, exactly, they're treating yeah. their employees like, like no, local affiliates of one of the big network t uh, broadcast uh, companies or something. So, yeah. so they're yeah. supporting the, the employees developing their own brand because they know the company's brand sort of rides those coattails. Yes. You know, I've, see, I've seen examples of that. And, um, you know, it's interesting because I think that kind of where, Mark, you're talking about authenticity, because I think it actually, there are a lot of instances that I've seen where it just seems like it is just sort of a rote reshare, right? Like, I'm just going to copy and paste this link. And then, you know, I might, I, I might see three people from the same company even like use the same caption on something they share on LinkedIn. And for me personally, when I see that, it just seems very inauthentic. I'm like, okay, well, they're just being, you know, they're just sharing the same gold company line. So I think that there's, there's a, a kind of twist to that, right? Positive and negative, right? It's good to get the word out, but at the same time, yeah. if it's inauthentic, it's like kind of defeats the purpose. Yes, yes, it, it, it does. Yeah, and kind of, you know, that, that, that loops back to, you know, authenticity. Uh, and being genuine is a key. Um, if uh, if it's not, then you, you're not going to get that same engagement, that mm -hmm. same interest, and that same attraction, right? Um, exactly. Mark, I do have a question from Sarah in chat. Um, can you share an example of a really good LinkedIn bio blur? Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe versus yeah, a poor one. I, yeah, sorry, I did see that. Um, it's well without me with without me kind of um, doing a quick search. I, I think um, I think a good example was one that I sh with the, that I did show earlier. Mm. So if you remember the LinkedIn profiles, there was um, the top left photo I showed you of the lady Lisa, um, who worked in you know in a data center industry, and you'll see that she had. Um, you know, a nice, clean profile picture uh, with a smile. She had uh, um, a, 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 a headline um, graphic or, uh, or, or banner at the back that was a, a data center behind her. And then she also had um, her headline that explained that she was an account executive, worked in, uh, you know, data center field. So when you looked at her profile, you know, all of those dots connected, it all flowed well. Mm. And you could you straight away that that impression you got, you knew who she was, what she did, uh, what field she worked in. And she had seemed seemed to have a warm smile and personality. So that's a good example. Bad examples, I would say there's lots. Um, you don't need, you, you only have don't to look get at <laughs> Yeah, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to pick, pick any out in particular because uh, that would be unfair, but there's, you know, there, there's, there's a lot. You, you know, you, you just take a look and, and you'll see, you know, pick, you know, profile pictures that are blurry or some, somebody's taking Let, a picture. Let's all, of, uh, let's everyone post a, the link to their own LinkedIn profile on in chat. <laughs> we'll, we'll filter through them and then Mark, Mark can critique. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, I but, kid, but, but yeah, go ahead and put them in. But it's, I'm yeah, sorry. so it's, you know, it's good to, you know, it's good, good, good to, to look at other, I would say, look at other profiles, you know, look at, look at people that do the same job you do or in the same industry you do mm -hmm. look at it and, and you'll, you'll, you'll soon start to see some profiles that jump out of you and then think to yourself, why are they good? What, what's, and then, you know, read their content and, and, you know, this will give you inspiration and, and ideas. Mm -hmm. um, William has, has a question. Um, is it advisable to add strangers as friends or connections as far as personal branding goes, um, I think that there's some maybe tactical things around that, but also, you know, just kind of the T as far as TOS goes, but, but even just yeah. from a pure network perspective, well, what's your thought on that? <laughs> yeah, I think it's, um, yeah, it's a, it, it's a kind of blurry area, right? Because you have, obviously you have a lot about, um, 
uh, GDPR and um, you know personal um, personal protection, everything else. But but these are public these are public platforms. Okay, so um, if you're on them, you're you're on them for a reason. Uh, and um, you can with with all of these channels though as well. There is options to block people and that kind of thing. You know, so you do have that ability. But with I'd say with LinkedIn, um, you know, you want to grow your network. So you may with LinkedIn, you may want to be uh, connecting with potential customers. You may want to be uh, connecting with people you'd like to maybe hire if you've got your own business. So, um, so again, I'd say send, send a genuine um, message. What, what, what's a big no, no, don't send a connection request to somebody with no, with, with, with nothing, you know, that, mm. that, that, that for me is always a red flag. If, if somebody can't, you know, really doesn't have the time, they want to connect with me, but they haven't given, they haven't introduced themselves or given, given me a reason why I want to connect with them, then that's a no, no. So always personalize every connection request and you'll see that your, your connection requests will, will, will double if you, if you haven't been doing that. No, that's um, good. That's a good point. Yeah. Stick stay away from the, and, and the yeah, boilerplate stuff. If you don't know them, look for a connection. You know, you could have gone to the same university. You could have maybe worked in the same company years ago. You could have worked um, uh, or done a similar job. Um, or there could be something about their profile that you really like and you can give them a compliment and say you'd like to, you know, there's, there's a million ways to do it. Um, but just do it, you know, again, do it authentically and, and you'll, you'll be surprised how quickly you can start growing your network. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, question from Lily. Speaking of authenticity, what types of photos are better? A professional photo versus a natural one, assuming that you don't look naturally professional. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just kidding, yeah, Lily. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's a kind of um, uh, fun, fun, funny sort of blurry area as well, I guess, because uh, again, it, it depends what you do. You know, if you if you're a um, you know if you're a, a managing director of a, a of a bank, maybe your your image is going to be uh, of you in a suit, and you're comfortable with that. Um, if you're a young, you know, 25 year old, that's, um, um, uh, a CEO of a, of his, of a startup, he's going to look like a, a young trendy CEO of a startup company. Right. So it's what you, your picture has got to, to, to represent you as how you, you know, how you see yourself in whatever field and special specialty area you're in. It's um, almost like, it's almost like a self-selecting sort of thing right so if you want to right it's it, you know if if let's say um your family is important to you and you you have a picture with you and your kids and if you think people that's going to turn people off i, I mean do you really want to do business with people that are going to be turned off by a picture with you and your kids i, I don't know maybe maybe that's well a, a bit of an inverse strategy there right well i think it it yeah i i I think though it comes down to you know look, look at it this way if you were to go for an interview um and you wanted to make a good first impression how would you look what would you want somebody to know about you so think think like that when you're creating your image that that's because you 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 want to make a good first impression how are you going to do that um yeah so so yeah you know, you, you, what, what, whatever image you want that's good. I just saw Lily unmute herself. I didn't know if you're going to jump in with a, with a question there, Lily. <laughs> no, I was going to say, I think that's great. I think it does depend who your target audience is to your point. Like if you're working in, you know, as a lawyer, um, you know, and most of the people you're working with are corporate lawyers, you know, then making sure that you kind of fit that group that you're looking to get into or are part of makes sense versus you know completely natural like maybe uh, you know just a different type of industry where you know hawaiian shirt and and jeans are no big deal i guess similar in real life working world was how'd you know what outfit yeah. i'm wearing really <laughs> <laughs> yes i'm wearing jeans um 
So, Mark, what one? Um, and sorry that uh, if I if I'm kind of um, pivoting the question, but um, I just maybe stream of consciousness was oh, nice. uh, the um, uh, GitHub. I'm I'm kind of super interested to, yeah. to hear your thoughts. We've got a lot of uh, folks that obviously are um, from computer science backgrounds, a lot of developers, and really understanding the value of being able to show off, let's say, work product or just being able to show off your skill set and like good strategies for that. Um, well, I think it, it, it really depends on, on um, how you're going to, 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 to use it. So if you're talking specifically about GitHub, it's important that it, it is it is linked, you know, um, to your other uh, channels, because uh, if it's something you want to show off, right, it's obviously, um, you know, uh, a big, uh, a big talent or skill, or, um, you know, how many repos you, you, you made, and uh, etc. Um, uh, so, um, so it, it's, yeah, it, it, it's again, it, it's very different because Git, 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 GitHub is, um, yeah, obviously it, it's very much um, niche to the tech community, right? Mm -hmm. So it, it, it is quite, quite different, um, but, but very important to, to you uh, or, or should be to, to most, um, you know, software engineers that are in, in that field. Um, and uh, I, again, I would say, you know, with, with, with GitHub though, look at, look at some of your, maybe some of your, some of your, your, your heroes on there, you know, there's, <laughs> there, there's a lot of heroes on, on, on GitHub and look, look, look at their, um, their ty types of, um, profiles because of the profile is a bit more limited. Um, but, but again, you know, put, put, put the time and effort into into GitHub as, as you would um, in, in regards to your your, your profile um, as you would in a, any of the other other sites. Maybe ask a little bit differently. Would, do you think that let's say you're a software developer uh, and you do want to engage um, and, and not maybe so much engage, but let's say you're applying for jobs and, you know, uh, uh, recruiters are looking basically at your digital self um do you yeah. find that github is is like is it is it like a prerequisite is it super important for developers um it, it is important but um it would it, if you're talking about from a from a recruitment perspective or a come you know a, a hiring company perspective then then quite often they would want to know you know, if you're active on on GitHub, um, and would take a look at your your you know your um, your profile through your ID, right? Um, but but also you know there there are a lot of lot of developers that that may uh, have not you know may have only used it um, professionally, or some that may have only used it personally. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's there's a real you know there, there's quite a mixture out there, but, but I'd certainly say say if you have a strong if you are a, an active user and you have a strong GitHub profile, then yes, that that that's definitely gonna gonna help you. Two other places that help a lot: uh, Crunchbase and AngelList, mm. especially yep. for um, startups. That those yep. are great places to to find uh, startup opportunities or startup team members. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they're great. They, they are great sites. Yeah. Both, both of those, Jeff, Crunch, Crunch, Crunchbase. Um, they're, 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 there's a few others, but yeah. So would you want to look at, at those, at those sites? If you, if you are like, a, if you're an operator or if you're like an individual um, looking for a job or, or something else? Both ways. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because you can find yeah you can find jobs advertised on those sites um, as well. There, there's multiple job boards, you know, niche job boards. Um, but um, but but yeah, you can you can use them for, for industry information and for, for finding finding jobs as well. Gotcha, gotcha. 
Um, looks like William, William has a question, I guess similar to GitHub and uh, William, I'm not sure if, if so you refer to uh, GitLab and Bitbucket, are you f referring to them, I guess, specifically as like the site, those sites themselves or, or, or like social code, um, code sharing in general? Don't know if you're, if you're able to come off mute or if you're, if you could reply back. I'm just curious of your question. Okay, we'll see. Maybe maybe it comes back with a with a response there. Hi. Oh, hey, we could hear you. Hey. Um, so, uh, for GitLab and Bitbucket, what I'm aware of those two are um, they're places where you can store your uh, Git repositories. <laughs> so, I guess like GitHub would. Um, would potential employers be interested in looking at those as as a instead of GitHub or? Um... I, I I would imagine that, um, and and Mark, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I would imagine it, it, it. A lot of it comes down to if let's say a recruiter, how a recruiter comes into that information, right? Whether it's like you link it from your LinkedIn or you link it from your personal website, right? Like maybe they're not yeah. going to those sites directly, but they almost have to get pulled into those sites, right? That's right, um, that's right. And uh, I mean, and, it, and it, it, again, it just depends on the employer as well, because they, they all have different, you know, different requirements, different, um, different ways of, of, of uh, selecting candidates or, you know, how they hire. Um, so it, yeah, it would really come down to a, you know, a case by case basis. But again, you know, as I said, I think, uh, a, a, a good active GitHub profile, um, uh, combined with a good, uh, social media profile, whatever channels you decide to be on, um, you know, that's, that, that's the way to go. Great. Uh, just to do a little bit of a time check, we're nine minutes to the top of the hour. I, I'd, I'd like to make sure that we were, are respectful of your time, Mark, and everyone else's time, and we'll, you know, uh, cut it off there pretty, um, uh, just, you know, right on time. Uh, but I guess uh, one thing I did, so please get your questions in um, through chat or, or open up your audio. Uh, but one question, I guess, for for Mark, um, can, you, can you share with us a little bit how maybe you're you work with your customers to help um, connect them with talent. Is that something you'd be able to just kind of give us a, a, a primer on, on, uh, on how you do that? Well, um, we we have um, um, we have different uh, talent solutions. So again, it would depend on what particular customer we're working with. Um, we, you know, we, we really have developed um, a, uh, an agile sort of methodology in regards to how we recruit. Um, and we, uh, as, well as, as well as providing, you know, customers with permanent sort of recruitment solutions, um, we also provide them with contract recruitment solutions. And then also, with, which, you know, is quite topical and um, popular right now are, are of remote hiring, which is a different dimension of, of, mm. of hiring. And, uh, you know, a lot of change has gone on in, in, in that particular area. Um, but there, you know, there is, um, uh, I think, a lot of long term um, um, uh, opportunities in in the whole remote workforce um, hiring space. And I think, I think companies, although many companies have adopted remote working for, for um, the short term, I, I think it's here to stay. Um, and I, I personally believe the companies that have a flexible system that allows people to work for, um, to, to work either, you know, on site or at home or a, a mixture of the two, you know, they're, they're, they're the companies that are, uh, are really going to um, sort of win uh, more talent in the future um, than the companies that, you know, will go back to the, to the way they used to work um, before, you know, um, the, the, the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, 
Are, are you finding any any hot spots as it relates to either um, geography or industry or maybe like skill sets that you know uh, our folks here could kind of pique their interest and kind of figure out, hey, you know, um, where should they align themselves? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that's, it, it really depends on what industry you're in, right? So um, we uh, here at Equitech, we, we, we really have a focus in the uh, fintech, um, financial services, financial technologies, um, um, open banking, um, blockchain, crypto space, uh, as well as um, cloud, um, cloud technologies, um, and we're we're heavily focused in in Europe and um, also starting to to, to 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 put our focus in in the North North America um, region. Um, but uh, I would say there's you know that the, the tech industry has been has been quite resilient from from in my opinion through through the, the, the pandemic in in compared to many other industries um i i think there's still a a, a big demand for many types of um software developers um and we i, I guess we also have you know very uh, uh, other interesting developments going on in 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 um 5g technologies in mm. iot um so there's, there's a lot going on um in in yeah in the fintech space as well you know that that's really a um, um uh, an industry that we have a lot of focus on and there's a lot of development but it's a real mixed bag you know you've you've seen you've seen companies uh, go through uh, have layoffs you've seen companies uh, uh hiring You've, you've seen companies freeze their hiring. Mm. Um, so, you know, it's been, um, it's really been um, uh, a mixture as to what, what's been going on <laughs> out there. Um, but yeah. more, you know, th th there's a lot of positives. I, I um, this next, this next question, I, I, I wish I'd maybe asked you or prompted you with this before our call, sure. but I'll go ahead and ask it anyway. But, but let's say, um, you know, it's, it's, let's say it's 2025. What sort of roles, what sort of skill sets do you think are going to be needed in that time frame that, that maybe aren't so obvious today? Um, or, does, or, does it, or does it change much between now and 2025? <laughs> well, I think it's, um, you know, I think it's, it, it, it's, it's hard to, to really answer that question because because things are changing so rapidly you know where <laughs> where the industry where many industries are today um you know we we've seen a real accelerate uh, you know acceleration with um digital transformation from the last eight months right around um covid19 lots of companies have been forced to um to go online to have um you know, virtual meetings um, to to hire remotely. The, the, these are things that companies weren't weren't doing, um, you know, before COVID nineteen. So, mm. uh, I I think I I think it 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 seems to be that thing that with when it comes to technology, um, we're we're seeing um, a lot of technologies um, developing at a much quicker pace, uh, a much quicker um, pace than um than we have previously and mm. um and also just just looking at what's going on in the um yeah in the blockchain and the crypto world right right now as a as another good example maybe maybe we the 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 rate of development will increase a lot faster with less commuting <laughs> in general <laughs> well that's de definitely i think yeah you know pro product you know people it's been proven that that a lot of people are, are more productive right you you mm -hmm. have you've got more time you've got more energy um, than you would have spending uh two hours commuting right you know it's funny i was always thought that maybe maybe with with pandemic that that the vr the vr world or the vr industry would would t would would get a big boost because you know 
people want to put on the masks and and take a vacation yeah. I think it. I think it has actually, uh, Jamar. I think it has, but not not as as kind of mainstream as, as mm. you know, like Zoom has, for example. Sure. But, yeah. But I think that 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 yeah, it has been accelerating. I think there's a uh, yeah, there's some interesting companies and developments and platforms out there in the VR space. Um, and in fact, I think that's also you know where personal branding will be going as well in the future. So. Mm. Very good. Very good. Well, we are. <laughs> We are a couple minutes from time. Mark, any, and well, first off, thank you so much for, for, for taking the time. And I know it's late there in the, in the UK, so I appreciate you um, spending time with us um, uh, on a Friday night. But any, any parting words that you'd like to share with us? Um, I would just say, um, when it comes to personal branding, you know, just be yourself, be, be authentic, go out there. Um, you know, hope, hope maybe you've learned a few things today. Uh, look, look at the, the channels you want to be on, um, you know, and, 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 and use some of the, some of the things I've spoken about and change, change your picture, get creative and go out there and unleash yourself in the virtual world. <laughs> excellent excellent well thank you so much and thank you everyone for for joining us um uh, we'll share the recording yeah. um after after we're done here but um thank you have a great weekend hey, Jamar, um, yeah. i wanted to put a shout out um in case anyone didn't see it on chat that we've got a, a linkedin group for the ics alumni uh crew excellent so if you're not part of it join it make it part <laughs> of your branding yes yep. yes there you go <laughs> we'll, 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 uh, yeah, we'll have a, a little, um, uh, what is it? Uh, we'll just, we'll, we'll share each other's content. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just share yeah, and reshare. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and, yeah, and, and happy to, uh, to, to connect with anyone on, 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 uh, LinkedIn, um, uh, or, or Twitter, if any of you guys are on, on there. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much. Everyone yeah, have a happy, good rest of your day. Happy Labor Day. Great. Thank you. Okay. Have a good weekend.